Hello everyone. Uh, so have you ever wondered how engineer design everything from towering skyscrapers to high speed race cars or even smartphone in your pocket? Well, chances are the secret lies in simulation software like ANSYS Workbench. It's not just a tool, it's an entire playground where ideas come to life, get tested and perfected before they are even built. Think of ANSYS Workbench as the nerve center of engineering simulation. It's like having a supercomputer on your desk that can analyze how a bridge handles an earthquake, how air flows over a plane wing, or even how heat affects an electric car battery. In this video, we are diving into the world of uh, ANSYS and I will take you through how it's uh, organized, why it's so powerful and how it connects all the different branches of engineering into one seamless environment. Whether you are a student or a professional or just curious about how simulation works, you're about to get a glimpse into the tool that's powered the future of design and innovation. So we'll be launching ANSYS Workbench and go through its interface and the different uh, analysis systems one by one in uh, great detail. So this is the opening window of ANSYS Workbench. So this is how it looks. Now it looks pretty simple and there are a ton of options. So let's just understand the interface first before we jump into details of its working, right? So in this video, we'll mostly focus on the type of work that you can do in ANSYS and about most of the features that are available in this interface. So at first we have the menu bar, like just like any other software, you have the different options like file, view, tools, unit to choose the units. And then you have the extensions, jobs, and then you have the help. So let's discuss about the toolbox. So when you're starting out, it may look very confusing, like there are so many options and we just blindly follow a particular way by going through a tutorial and so on. So let me actually explain in very brief, in a rough sense, what everything actually means. So the toolbox in ANSYS Workbench is, uh, you can think of it like a gateway to build your simulation workflow. It provides a structured and categorized uh, list of system and tools that users uh, like users can drag and drop into the project schematic to set up their analysis. Each category in the toolbox is uh, designed to address a specific aspect of simulation or to add functionality to workflow. So let me explain in very brief. The first we have the analysis system. This is the core section of the toolbox containing predefined workflow for various simulation type. Each system represents a complete workflow, including steps like geometry, mesh, uh, physics setup, solving, uh, and so on. For example, we have static structural for analyzing uh, the stress deformation in static system and so on. Then we have the fluid flow for like complex fluid dynamics and heat transfer analysis. Then we have the like model studies for evaluating natural frequencies and mode shapes of structure. So this section is ideal for users who want a comprehensive guided workflow tailored to a specific type of analysis. Then we have the component system. So if I open, you can see that there are various options. So the component system section provide standalone tool for individual tasks, such as geometry creation, meshing, and result post-processing. This system can be combined flexibly to create custom workflow. For example, for geometry, like importing or creating 3D CAD model, uh, for mesh, uh, like generating computational grid that are essential for accurate simulation. For example, in the result for analyzing and visualizing data from simulation. 
This section is particularly useful for experienced users who need more control over their workflow or want to integrate like external data uh, to the software. Then we have the custom systems. The custom system category allow advanced user to define their own workflow by combining different component or scripts. This is helpful for automating repetitive tasks or creating specialized analysis procedures. For instance, a custom system could be built to perform a specific optimization routine or integrate external solver with ANSYS. Then we have the uh, design exploration. So this section uh, focuses on tools for design optimization and sensitivity analysis. It is useful when exploring how changes in design parameter affect performance. Uh, for example, uh, to create a mathematical model that predict system behavior based on input parameter. Then um, for finding the best combination of parameter to achieve a desired performance, these tools are commonly used in industries where iterative design and optimization are critical such as uh, aerospace or maybe automotive uh, engineering. Then we have uh, another section of OptiLang. I don't know, like I'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong, but I'll just call it OptiLang, right? So the OptiLang section integrates powerful design uh, exploration and optimization tool directly into ANSYS. So it allows users to perform advanced sensitivity analysis, reliability assessment, and robust design optimization. For example, OptiLang can evaluate how uncertainty in material properties or boundary condition affect the final result, making it invaluable for engineers who need to ensure their design are reliable under real-world variability. Then we have again the OptiLang integration. This category provides integration with OptiLang workflow for users who want to run optimization studies or explore advanced simulation scenario seamlessly. This integration help in managing complex multi-physics model and improving the efficiency of uh, iterative workflows. And then we have the ACT. So ACT is basically ANSYS customization toolkit. Now this section um, is for users who want to extend the capability of Workbench by adding custom tools, plugins, or automation uh, scripts. For example, user can create custom material model or integrate external data analysis software with ANSYS. This section is especially useful for organization that require highly specialized workflow not covered by default systems. Then again, we have create a workflow section. Now, this option allow users to define their own workflow by selecting and combining system from the toolbox. This option provides maximum flexibility, enabling users to tailor workbench to their specific project need. It's ideal for handling non-standard problem or integrating multiple physics domain in a unique ways. So this is what the toolbar uh, actually uh, have when you launch ANSYS Workbench. I hope uh, you got some idea how everything works. In the next part of the video, we'll go through each of the component in the toolbox and have a brief understanding of what it does.